Hello, folks, and welcome back again to Dada Hyena's Creature Show. This is Aiden, and today we are drawing one of the biggest monsters of them all. Ha ha ha. Godzilla. The topic of Godzilla is such a huge one that this video could go on for hours and hours if I were to talk about nearly any aspect of Godzilla, the history of Godzilla, the popularity of Godzilla. It would go on forever and ever. So in order to keep this video to just like uh, three to five minutes, I'm just going to ramble a little bit about some of my favorite Godzilla movies. Maybe there's some of yours. Maybe you have favorites of your own that you'd like to share in the comments below. Please do. Godzilla has to have one of the biggest filmographies of any fictional character ever. I think only Dracula or Frankenstein probably have more, but they're also public domain characters, whereas Godzilla has always been a Toho creation. Okay, so here we go. Let's ramble through some of the history of them. Uh, the original Gojira is, of course, a classic. Everybody loves that one. If you speak any ill of it, you will be killed with an oxygen destroyer, and that's totally fine with me. Between the, the original Japanese version and the American cut Godzilla King of the Monsters, I actually like both of them a lot. I thought as far as international edits go, the, uh, the American version with Raymond Burr was very well done. You can hear more of the comparisons with them and my opinions on them in the Pods and Monsters episode on Gojira, which I did a while ago. The second Godzilla movie I do kind of like. It's not a very popular one, but I've also talked at length about this film in my drawing video for Angiras. King Kong vs. Godzilla, of course, is going to be of interest to a lot of people right now, seeing how Godzilla vs. Kong, the remake of it, was just released. It is a very fun film. As far as American edits go, this one was a terrible recut. And don't believe any of the uh, the long-standing rumors, lies, that there are two different endings to this film. It's just not true. But with that said, I would still very much recommend the original version because the, uh, the recut version is really boring. Jumping ahead, uh, the two Ghidorah movies from the 60s are also very well done. I think these were some of the earliest Godzilla movies I ever saw. I'm not entirely sure which one I saw first. Monster Zero is a personal favorite. I love, love, love that movie. It's so much fun. Um, the, the human story of that one is also one of the very best in the series, too. Nick Adams was fantastic, and it's just it's a personal favorite. I just get a huge kick out of it. Destroy All Monsters, of course, is loved by Godzilla fans because, just let's face it, when you get a lot of monsters together, it doesn't matter how sensible the plot is. We monster kids just love seeing lots and lots and lots of monsters, and this film is, it's a lot of fun, you know? It's not the deepest or has the greatest human story, but with this many monsters, I think there's like 11 of them in there, you're gonna love it. Um, the 70s films were kind of hit and miss. There's a lot, I think a lot of the enemies in the 70s films I like more than the films themselves, like Gigan, Megalon, Hedorah, they're all lots of fun, very imaginative. For me personally, I'm skimming past the 80s and 90s because the Heisei films just aren't personal favorites of mine. I know a lot of people like them, so I'm not going to trash them or anything. Um, the Mechagodzilla and the Destroyer ones I do like. The Millennium films are also kind of hit and miss, although I do like a lot of the monster redesigns. I think the Godzilla 2000 suit is one of my very favorites. Final Wars is one of my very favorite Godzilla films, and I don't care who trashes it. I don't care how many people just don't get the appeal of a very stupid but very fun monster mash. Again, like Destroy All Monsters, you know, who can who can not enjoy a ton of the monsters getting together? After the Millennium films, I think is uh, Shin Godzilla, which was okay. Not really my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people who love it, and it did very well. The Netflix anime trilogy was okay. The The legendary films, I actually have been liking those a lot. It's not perfect, but again, the monster designs were very well done, and it's all leading up to Godzilla vs. Kong, which I'm not going to post any spoilers about. And then after that, well, it doesn't seem like there's any plans of Godzilla stopping. There's yet another anime series coming up, and let's face it, this big guy's going to be around a lot longer than any of us. The longevity of Godzilla is something that I can't quite explain. I don't mean that in a good or bad way. It's just there is just so much popularity and life and story possibilities to a big dinosaur who kills the living hell out of everything around him. There is still a massive fan community uh, for Godzilla and other kinds you and god bless them all they've they've been a lot of fun to talk to and they've been very supportive of me and my art so to everyone out there who's been keeping the big guy alive go go godzilla and i hope you have enjoyed 
Thank you very much. Catch you next time.